yeah. Um, well, I mean, we always have to wait till this, this long into the year anyway. It's actually a bit earlier than normal, so, um, but yeah, it's another season, isn't it? What, um, I don't really know what to say, actually. Is, is, there, is there another question to that? <laughs> oh, it's very possible. We're not going to win it in the first game of the season against the Stars, but it is extremely possible. Um, but, you know, we've earned nothing so far to make it three. Like, we've got to, you know, I, I believe we have the team to do it, but the, you know, the piece of paper with all the names on the list don't win you anything. So we're going to have to go out and, you know, be the best we can be in every moment that we play in and every moment that we're involved in. Um, you know, as I said, the the paper and how good you look on the, on the list just it doesn't win you anything. And we've been probably, I guess, underrated in years gone by by critics saying you know we're going to come in a certain place. But by being the best versions of ourselves when we go out in the moment, we've been able to win and win well. So you know now that the shoe's on the other foot, we've got to make sure that we're you know we're we're still doing the exactly the same thing and we're not getting complacent. I don't think so. I don't think there is any pressure. Like it's, well, uh, that's probably not a fair comment, but you know, I, I feel like pressure and stress aren't really things that you can measure at all. And it's stuff that we just make up in our heads. Um, and I've been pretty good at that in the past, but I'm hoping that, you know, we've, as a team, we've created some, you know, mechanisms and methods over the last few years to deal with that. Um, you know, we've won a lot of close games, obviously won the last two finals. Um, at home, you know, under the pressure of playing at home and um, trying to keep your, you know, trying to do as well as you can for your fans. But I think that trying to, I guess, reword and shape, you know, pressure into an opportunity, into an opportunity for us to learn and to get better is probably, you know, what we've been trying to do for the last couple of years rather than, you know, having a fear of failure or fear of letting people down, trying to change it into an opportunity to get better, win, lose or draw. So I don't feel like, you know, there's any pressure. Nothing's going to, you know, nothing terrible is going to happen to anyone if we don't win the, if we don't win the comp. The comp. Um, you know, we'll do our best to do exactly what we can do. Um, but, you know, I'd, I'll, I'll be doing my best to try and make sure there's no pressure build up on anyone, that's for sure. Yeah, I've played a lot with Chris um, in different IPLs. Like the last, I've played with him at Kings Eleven, um, and also at Sunrises, and I played a, a little bit against him as well, um, or a fair bit against him, um, whether it be here in the Big Bash over in England um, and during the IPL. And I've always loved playing with him. I much prefer playing with him than against him. He does all three things pretty well. He do, we, obviously, he's a very good bowler, a very good fielder, and he can bat. So anyone who can do all three skills in T20 is like, I believe a really good acquisition. Um, we're going to be missing Sean for the first little bit of the tournament. Um, so, you know, they're very similar players in that sense that they do all three things really well. Um, they probably bowl at different types, times of the game. Chris is a bit more of a sort of death specialist bowler, which is, again, another huge reason why, you know, we're really hungry to sign him because anyone who wants to bowl at the death is someone who copes with pressure really well. And it doesn't always go your way, but he's shown he's got the ability to keep bouncing back and keep bouncing back. And he's shown that sort of resilience, whether it's for England or different teams. Um, he's great for younger bowlers. He loves talking bowling and cricket and the mental side of the game as well. So all those things were taken into consideration. I'm, I'm really excited that he said yes, um, because we were, you know, we were pretty hungry to get him just as uh, almost as a culture signing as much as anything, because he's, he's a really nice guy. Um, and I feel like he's going to make all of our bowlers a little bit better as well. I did my best, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, they've, I mean, we've had a lot of great battles over the last couple of years in some, you know, high pressure games, whether it be knockout semis or finals. Um, you know, we've, yeah, I think they've been in terms of a team that like on on paper they've got one of the strongest teams around um 
I reckon we challenge it now, but um, you know, as I said, it, it doesn't really matter what happens on paper. Um, they've got a really strong team. They've got some really dangerous players, and they've, they've got a lot of good players away from those, you know, the, the superstars that you sort of mentioned that have been playing for Australia and have just come back from a, a, a really successful World Cup campaign. But you know, I, I still feel like if we do our things well, if we look after what we need to do um, well, I, I just don't think any other teams are going to, well, I don't think any other teams can do those things as well as we can, so, but it's up to us, so, you know, we never really focus too much on the opposition, obviously we want to know what their strengths are technically and so on, but I feel like if we just keep growing as a team, then we'll be, you know, we'll do as well as we possibly can. Yeah, I mean, last year, the, the final last year in front of the crowd, that was like after the whole season of not playing in front of anyone or very, playing in, in front of very small crowds. To play in front of that, like, that was something really special. And I think a lot of the guys will never forget how loud and supportive that fan, that, that fan base was. And that game, like, you know, we've all played in front of some pretty big crowds before. And that wasn't even, like, it wasn't a sold out like not every seat was full, but it was certainly one of the loudest and most supportive crowds we've ever played in front of. And, um, you know, a lot of the guys almost don't even remember what happened in the game except for how good the crowd was. So it's kind of, it was just such an epic night to be a part of. Um, and I'm sure the guys will be, you know, looking forward to more moments like that, whether it be in, in club games, in round games, or if we're good enough to make the finals this year to have something, you know, similar to what we experienced last year would be pretty cool.